Our next performer is um, fantastic. I adore him um, in t on TV and in real life. Uh, you may know him from Shaw Cable's Urban Rush. It's the lovely and talented Michael Eckford. <laughs> Following Justin Bieber. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> At least I have some ideas for my book cover design now. <laughs> all right, uh, Sarah asked me to do this. I was very happy. This has been tremendous, first of all. My God, I have been avoiding bad literature for my entire life. This is obviously a tactical error. <laughs> the cheesier the better is my new literary genre. <laughs> all right, so uh, she phoned to say, we talk, and of course, then all of a sudden, you agree to it and you go, shit, what now? What do I read? <laughs> this coincided with uh, the announcement that Snooki from Jersey Shore will be writing a book. <laughs> we all look forward to this uh, with bated breath because it, anyone watch Jersey Shore? Anybody? No. Oh, well, we're all going to learn something tonight, aren't we? <laughs> all right. I can't decide whether that's better or worse because I'm going to have to uh, explain. <laughs> So my favorite thing uh, that I saw right after I read this story about Snooki getting her book deal was someone created a Venn diagram. Uh, Venn diagrams are the, the circle diagrams where uh, each circle represents a measurable and, and where the circles coincide is where the commonalities are. And they made this Venn diagram and they said things no one thought about when they gave a book deal to Snooki. <laughs> and there's, there's one circle that says people who love Snooki and way the fuck over here is another circle that says people who like Snooki. No, did I say that? Same thing. People who like Snooki, people that read books. <laughs> no commonality. So, what I'm going to do, you're getting an education tonight. I am reading the plot summaries for each episode of Jersey Shore Season 2. <laughs> yeah. Season one, of course, strangely enough, happened in Jersey on the shore. <coughs> Episode one, going south. No G on the end of going. The Jersey Shore crew is headed to Miami. Of course they are. Well, the situation, Polly D, Snooky, and JWoww road trip down the East Coast. The rest of the gang hop on planes to fly south for the winter. There they are shocked by the surprise arrival of former housemate Angelina. And the drama picks up right where it left off in Seaside. Ron and Sam are newly single. Or are they? She says she still has feelings for him and wants to rekindle their relationship. But when tensions boil over, she's left at home, alone and broken hearted. Well, he gets crazy at the club. <laughs> Episode 2. The Hangover. <laughs> Some of these are boring, some of them are really good. Episode 2, man. Sammy tries to figure out what Ronnie really did at the club the night before, but no one is saying. And when Angelina interrupts Polly's game, in other words, how he interacts with females, <laughs> don't worry, I'll walk you through this, we see a whole new side of the usually calm Polly D. Episode 3, Creepin'. Anyone know what creeping is? Yeah. Creeping is when you approach girls, you hit on them, mac on them. <laughs> That's why they call our show Urban Rush, because I'm a hit. <laughs> Alright, creeping, episode three. Angelina swallows her pride and apologizes to the girls. Back at the house, the situation Vinny and Polly D have a close encounter with grenades in the hot tub. Well, Ronnie continues to creep what? behind Sammy's back. What? So, what? Grenade? What? Yes, a grenade. Have you heard the term beer goggles? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's a grenade. A grenade is something oh. they refer to as someone that they think is good looking. <laughs> and then they wake up and go, and they actually say it out loud in front of these people. <laughs> grenade! <laughs> and everybody runs, leaving the grenade by themselves in whatever situation. <laughs> Okay, the reason I chose this as well, just so you all know, this was the number one rated television show not on a major network in Canada the last 10 weeks running. Whoa. Know thy enemy, or fear for the future. Anyway. Yeah, man. Oh, and the Snooki costume is the number one selling Halloween costume. Yeah. 
She's the one with the poof. And she's the, okay. Episode four, break it up. This one's a little boring, but it gets better. Episode four, break it up. Ronnie's bad behavior puts Snooky, Angelina, and JWoww. JWoww. I can't even remember what her real name is. In a tough spot. Together, the girls decide to write an anonymous letter to Sammy to finally reveal the entire truth. This is about Ronnie's cheating. And everything else. Episode five, the letter. <laughs> Sammy finds Snooky and Jenny's anonymous letter. And this time, it's really over with Ronnie. At least for now. <laughs> Sammy never learns. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mike, Vinny, and Polly, they call themselves when they're together, the three of them, MVP, Mike, Vinny, and Polly, have their hands full juggling four girls in one night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you think it's bad on the printed page? Wait until you watch it someday. Episode 6, Not So Sure. The anonymous note causes tension between the girls, culminating in a full-blown catfight. After spending another night in bed with Vinny, Snooki reveals a not-so-little-known fact about her pink-eye-prone cuddle buddy. <laughs> Wrap your head around that sentence. <laughs> Her pink eye prone cuddle buddy. <coughs> Episode 7, Sleeping with the Enemy. The roommates deal with fallout from the girls' fight. Angelina starts dating Jose, a guy from the club, and Jenny and Snooky don homemade hazmat suit to clean up the smush room in preparation for Snooky's hookup. Smush room? Anyone? Any guesses? No, I don't want to know. The smush room is the one room in the house that's been designated as the room that everybody has sex in it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I didn't pick this because it's pretty. <clears throat> Hazmat suits to clean up the smush room. Hazmat suits. They weren't kidding. Episode 8, All in the Family. There's only 11, we got a few more to go. When news gets out that Angelina and Vinny hooked up, Mike threatens to spill the beans to Jose. Vinny's family comes to visit, and Vinny and Polly find the girls of their dreams, but one of their hearts will be broken. So sad. Episode 9, Dirty Pad. Things go south for Angelina when the house learns she slept with Jose after smushing Vinny. Then she gets too close to a guy Snooky hooked up with, but it's the last straw when the situation discovers more unpleasantness in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm not going to describe that, it just is what it is. Your children watch this. Well, mine don't, but... Yeah. Episode 10, Gone Baby Gone. The situation reunites with his Canadian hottie. Yeah! A proud moment for all Canadians. <laughs> Providing entertainment for the whole house. <laughs> Sorry, I'll read that as one sentence, because it needs to be. The situation reunites with this Canadian hottie providing entertainment for the whole house. This is so horrible. And Angelina tells her roommates how she really feels about them, sending Snooky into a frenzy and finally pushing things over the edge. And finally, episode 11. There's only one more left in the season, so be sure to set your PVRs. <laughs> episode 11, Girls Like That. Vinny decides between two sets of girls. Meanwhile, with Angelina gone, Snooky thinks it's time that she and JWoww bury the hatchet with Sammy, but Snooky's happiness is short-lived as the situation becomes increasingly belligerent with her. That, ladies and gentlemen, is your one and only experience. <laughs>